I. I, Michael Harrison. Michael Harrison took the oath as Baltimore's police commissioner March 12th. Later that very same week, Mayor Catherine Pugh was caught up in the scandal of inside business dealings of University of Maryland Medical System board members. Now, it's a full-scale political crisis. The mayor on leave and under investigation. What was the intent of hundreds of thousands of dollars she received through her Healthy Holly company? Did she properly disclose her business as a state senator and mayor? Yesterday, the city council and city delegation in Annapolis called on Pew to resign. Harrison, arguably Pew's most important appointment, said today none of it has an effect on him. It has not affected it at all. Um, while I'm grateful for being brought to Baltimore and hired to be the commissioner here, my commitment is to the residents of Baltimore. Harrison was among other Pew cabinet members who met with acting Mayor Jack Young this morning. Young is trying to convey a business as usual city government. The ship is in good hands and we're continuing to move city forward, make sure that essential services are being delivered and to let them know that they have my full support to continue the initiative that they already have on their plate. And we're still moving forward on all of the initiatives. We're still moving forward on recruitment, hiring and training and implementation of the consent decree and working on smart strategies to reduce violent crime. You're here for the duration. I am here for the duration. A few days ago, Jim Smith, a top aide to Mayor Pugh, announced he would resign later this month. Jack Young said today he knows of no other resignations from the Pugh administration. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.